Your Grace, when I witnessed the drama of what happened on this day, I am sorry, I started questioning the wisdom of telling us that leaders are anointed by God. I asked God, surely God, good as you are, are you the one who anointed a mean or so? Couldn't you have done better for Uganda? Countrymen, much as God anoints leaders, you also have a role to play. You have your vote. Be careful. Be very careful. Exercise your right to vote diligently, cautiously, aware of where you are going. Forget this excitement. No excitement. You have only one life. You don't have another chance. Every single that day that goes by is a day gone and gone forever. And when they tell you happy, happy new year, that's a step towards the grave. You don't have another chance. So don't squander your vote for choosing a leader who will, who will lead you to progress. We deserve better. We don't have to follow sweet nothings. You want to lead. It's not you have a handsome face or a beautiful dress. It's what are you going to do for us? When you get another intervene, don't blame me. You'll have voted that intervene into power. Just because you are excited. This uh, lady here and there comes here promising you heaven and earth as if he has never been to heaven when he has never been. And then you sing and put a finger and say, Here are all your savior. And the next day, the man turns into a monster. You've created him, you can't remove him. So be careful. We've walked a long path. I'm sure we've faltered along the way. Faltering is not the problem. The problem is inability to learn from your mistakes. The inability to learn from your mistakes is the problem. But making mistakes is, is human. It's only a stationary car that doesn't raise dust. But when you've raised dust and you've noticed it, do you inherit it? No, not at all. I am scared by we Ugandans celebrating the death of General Wum and not questioning whether it was worthy for him to die. Why? Why did he have to die? Why did he die and we went on with it, I mean, as if nothing had happened? Once beaten, twice shy. Learn to stand up and speak. Learn to stand up and speak. 
don't quarrel. There is a difference between freedom of expression and rioting. This is the problem I have with some of my friends in the opposition. They say they are exercising the right to speak, but then they, they bring stones. They... So I say, freedom of expression is legitimate and legal, but rioting is illegitimate and a crime. So choose. I encourage Ugandans to speak. Nobody should gag you. I encourage Ugandans to speak, to exercise your right of freedom of expression, freedom of association. I, I, I didn't acknowledge my friend, the president of the UPC. I'm sorry, Jimmy. We are friends. Now, I found him at Pamozi Hotel in Zambia. He was very young, but he was sharp. I was head of the Secret Service of Uganda. And I asked him, I said, but Jimmy, the way you are talking, you could be very useful in Uganda. And he said, sorry, I, I, I can't come because I'm opposed to you. I told him, I will tell you, that, but we are working with people who are shooting at us yesterday. For you, not done as a little, as throw the stone at the passing military vehicle. We are working with people who are shooting at us, you. Then he told me he was about his son. I said, look at him. I'm also my father's son. <laughs> Where is it written? In the laws of Uganda, the laws of the church, and the, and, and the laws of God, that a and son cannot come to Uganda. I am very glad that Jimmy Akena has come back and is contributing to the rebuilding of this country and he's my friend, faithful and just. That's the way we should live on earth. Our life on earth is just, like I've always said, is just an infinitesimal pause in eternity. Uganda was there without you, it's here with you, it will be here long after you are gone. Just make your contribution. Don't try it on Uganda. Just make your contribution. That's, that's what we ask of you. To be a good Ugandan. And to be a good Ugandan, you must embrace every Ugandan, everybody who ascribes to Uganda. Whether he's from Soro, or Raba, or a if he's not coming to wrestle our, our cows. In fact, I was telling somebody we should put these Angori cows between uh, Atori and, uh, and Karamoja because they don't walk. <laughs> we should just get all these cows and put them there. When they come to steal them, we shall catch them because they, they, those cows don't walk. You can't, <laughs> you can't chase them. <laughs> My Lord, I'm glad. You are here. I have known the Chief Justice from the time he was in CA. I commend him to you, the people of Acholi. He is a nice man. And I'm not very fond of compliments. I'm not very fond of compliments, but Justice Owinidoro is a nice man. And I call him a friend. I call him a friend because I saw in him capacity to speak for the downtrodden. My ideological identity is struggle. Struggle for the oppressed. My mantra is voice for the voiceless. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And may I take this opportunity to ask His Grace the Chief, the, the Archbishop.
to come and address us. But I thought the Archbishop was going to, to give us a vote of thanks. <laughs> Thank you. A round of applause to the Minister of Internal Affairs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May I invite the area bishop who will turn invite his grace and thereafter his grace will invite the chief guest and we will then sing anthems in the reverse order each one stanza and thereafter we